Hello everyone. Um, hope you enjoyed that song I just posted up. What I want to do with this video is talk again about melody construction. Um, because I heard a perfect song for illustrating certain points. Um, it's Taylor Swift's song Safe and Sound featuring the Civil Wars uh, is a great example of melody variation. How to take an idea, a melodic idea, we all get them, but how to take that and make it go for four bars without sounding the same. Let me illustrate. So, a song, um, just to recap, sounds like this. Uh, first of all, it starts with a, a great, uh, very strong chord progression, which incidentally is like the, on the natural um, strings. It's like, you know, uh, A minor to E minor, C to G. It's very easy to play on the guitar in normal tuning, and that's exactly what they do. Um, you know, helps it give that organic sound which I think is why she did the collaboration with the Civil Wars. It's kind of a pokey outfit. Um, all right. So, the uh, song goes like this. I remember tears streaming down your face when I said I'd never let you go. But all those shadows almost killed your light. I remember you said, don't leave me here alone. All that's dead and gone and past tonight. Okay. So, what about that is interesting? Well, um, for starters, they're all the same chords. There's no variation in the chords backing up the melody. It's, you know, all of this, basically the same riff all the way through that verse. So the variation isn't coming from that. It's coming from Taylor Swift's melody. Now what she do? She's got this great idea. And she you could do that, you know. face when I said I'll never let you go. said don't leave me here alone. All that's dead and gone and past tonight, and there's only alone. And that turns a good melody idea into a boring one. Um, after the second repetition, you're like, okay, okay. After the third repetition, you're like, eh, and then after the fourth one, you just stop listening. So, how do you switch that up? Well, she uses a number of tricks. For example, Okay. She just stops halfway through the melody. And that works perfectly fine, you know? So don't underestimate the value of silence, especially in varying things up. Um, this is very true in backings, you know, when you have a break, you, you, you know, stop the music and then bring it back in, that sort of thing. But also in melodies, sometimes less is more. So, that's the first two lines. Okay, and then... I'll remember you said, don't leave me here alone. Instead of falling down, 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 she goes then new note. She takes, she goes to a note that's higher than what we've heard so far. So far we've heard a melody that's exactly an octave. Which, if you remember my earlier videos, is kind of the definition of a nice melody, according to, you know, what we all learned in music theory in grade what, four or something. Anyway. Um, but that, uh, you know, that's a nice well-formed melody. And she adds another note on the top. Just, you know, stretching the vocal line, taking our ear somewhere it didn't expect to go. Because we've had two lines that have fallen down in a pretty predictable pattern. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, she stopped. Oh, that's nice. And the way she sings it is very yearning. It gives the vocalist a chance to go somewhere with that line. Because we've had, you know, 
um, this it's fallen in steps it's pretty understandable um, like you know riding along and but this bit's like cantabile it's like a singing tone and then don't leave me here alone she starts the melody up again the second bit that she didn't sing in the second line so you've got this variation going on there are the tears streaming down your face when I said I never let you go. When all those shadows almost killed your light. It stops. I remember you said, singing, don't leave me here alone. The old melody. And then, but all that's dead and gone and passed tonight. Now that is very smart. Because later in the chorus, that last bit, that tonight, is the hook of the song, the chorus hook. And it, bringing it in there signals that something new is about to happen. What you want to do with pop music is focus, focus, focus everything towards pointing towards the chorus. That can involve, like, example, um, in the last two lines before the chorus, changing up the rhyming structure. So maybe you've had, like, an A-B-A-B -A -B rhyme going on. Um, how, what do I mean by that? Like, uh, golden wings, chicken pieces, uh, likes to sing, Mona Lisa's. I don't know. But you see, the every second line rhymes. But then at the end, you might be like, this is a silly song, I wonder where I went wrong, and then hit the chorus. So, with this bit, they put in the chorus hook, which leads into the chorus. So... But all that's dead and gone and past tonight Just close your eyes The sun is going down You'll be alright No one can hurt you now Come morning light You and I'll be safe And sad and in the second verse, she actually repeats that gone, gone twice, which helps to re emphasize the chorus and also, you know, keep the listener interested, changes up the structure a bit. It's very clever. Um, now, what you might have noticed about that chorus is that the melody doesn't actually vary, basically, at all. Just at the end with the hook, but the chorus itself doesn't vary, which is a nice contrast from the verse. The verse, you know, you've got a lot to say, you've got to explain things, you want to have that variation. But people like a chorus they can remember, and they can really remember that chorus. And one thing that does make that chorus is the vocal approach and also the uh, backing vocal and the harmony and the um, just close your eyes. That just, just, what is it? Uh, let me think. Just close your eyes. That third with the um, other lady from the Civil Wars. That's brilliant, and how they hit that top note with that soft vocal inflection. Just close your eyes. And that is also knowing where to put the melody, key-wise, so that she showcases the ability of your vocalist. Of course, if your vocalist is Taylor Swift, you've got a lot to work with, you know. So that's basically all I wanted to point out, how a good song is structured especially looking at verse structure. So, just to recap, I'll play the verse again, and this time, listen for all the things I was talking about. You've got the initial melody, then you've got stopping, letting the silence happen, then you've got going up to the top of the range, doing a singing thing and adding a new note to the hot top of the verse, and then um, adding the chorus hook at the end of the verse. And then I'll go into the chorus. So. I remember tears streaming down your face
place when I said I never let you go. All those shadows almost killed your life. I remember you said, Don't leave me here alone. But all that's dead and gone and past tonight. Just close your eyes, the sun is going down. You'll be Hope you gained something from that, and uh, hope, you know, check out the song. I'm sure, seeing as it's tied in with The Hunger Games, that it will be everywhere on YouTube or wherever. So, um, listen to it. Enjoy.